Get the latest on what's going on this earnings season, meets, beats, and more in Zach's Earnings Scorecard. There are some tech companies taking center stage in the earnings reporting cycle for the Q2 season this week. Eric Neutrum, who heads up Zach's Surprise Trader, is going to fill us in. Uh, there's three of them that you've got your eye on. Yeah, three of the biggest tech companies out there. we got Apple, Facebook, and Google. Yep. And they've all seen very different trading lately, so it's going to be very interesting to see if their trends continue or if you know they can start to you know soar if you're an, an Apple or you know fall back if you're a Facebook. Uh, sure. they, Facebook's been seeing some nice gains lately, but let's start with Apple. They're first up this week. All right. uh, they report after the bell on the 26th. Now this company has a Zacks rank number four, sell, and has a C VGM score. And if we look on the chart here, we can see that the company ended a pretty nice streak of earnings beats uh, in this most recent quarter. That that ended a, uh, a streak where the company hadn't hadn't missed since mid-2013. Um, so, you know, very good streak for Apple ended here, and we can see there's been a lot of concerns about their earnings estimates. The trends have fallen for 2016 and 2017. So a pretty rough uh, trend for Apple here. There's a lot of concerns about their, you know, their China sales, uh, overall growth in the company, watch shipments seem to be down as well. Mm -hmm. So not a lot to like about Apple going into this report. Uh, it remains a solid long-term investment, I think, but short-term, it, it seems like things could continue to be dicey for Apple. So you think they're going to get a bite taken out of them, huh? Yes, they could. There's a worm in, in this Apple still, I think. Okay. And then what do you have next, Facebook? Facebook is up next. Uh, right. th this social media giant has been a, uh, a very strong performer for investors. Uh, if we look to this chart, we can see great growth here, and this is largely predicated on their success in mobile and in video. Uh, the company is really starting to dominate both of these areas. If we look to the chart right here, we can see that the company is riding a nice streak on earnings beats, three in a row right here, and the growth figures for earnings. This blue line, you compare that to the yellow line right here, uh, we can see that you know year-over-year -year growth is expected to be pretty solid for this company. Uh, Zach's rank hold right now, VGM score of C. Uh, it looks solid this earnings season, but maybe not as robust as it did in, in years past. Once again, I think this is a nice long-term play, especially you know given some of their bigger divisions and mm -hmm. their uh, their foray into the virtual reality world. But once again, that's going to take a little bit longer to play out. All right, and then Google. Yeah, Google is a very interesting case. Uh, the company has seen good strength out of its you know core business of its search, but they're doing a lot of these uh, projects they call moonshot uh, projects. These include you know, the, uh, the fiber and other, you know, kind of more crazy uh, uh, segments out there like the car and, and other, uh, you know, autonomous vehicles, that sort of thing. So right. uh, they're spending a lot more money in these areas. Investors don't really care for that right now because, you know, it's, it's really dragging on the bottom line. You know, down the road they really could, you know, start to appreciate these products. But at least right now it's just adding to the costs. And if we look to the chart right here, we can see that the company has a pretty uh, terrible track record during earnings season. It missed in the most recent report, and uh, you know did beat right before that. But you know before that uh, beat, we did see a, a huge streak of misses here for the company. Uh, right now, it is a Zach's rank sell. Does a VGM score of D. Um, it does have a uh, positive earnings ESP right now. So some some analysts are starting to have a little bit better outlook for the company. But given that overall VGM VGM score and the Zach's rank, uh, it's hard to really like Google right now until we get some more clarity about. It how much they're spending on some of these bigger projects. All right. Own any of them? I do own Apple and Facebook for a long-term portfolio. Okay. Well, thanks for that. And don't forget, you can see more in the way of earnings news, earnings commentary, stock picks, stock picking strategies in general on our website, zax.com. It's all there for you to link to right from the homepage. With Eric, I'm Terry Ruffalo.